I have a tattoo of the Invisible Man on my left shoulder, and no one seems to notice. Thanks for dropping by. My name is Steve Thomas, and I just want to warn you right up front that this show is not going to follow any particular format. It's not a show about books, necessarily, but you probably know me from a previous show I was on and from one of my books, like Chase the Rabbit. But what does that mean, Chase the Rabbit? You remember Alice in Wonderland? How did she get there in the first place? She was chasing a rabbit, fell down a hole, and bam, she's in crazy land. The literal meaning of Chase the Rabbit in my book is to run down a story. The main character writes articles for magazines and newspapers and says he'll work for anyone willing to pay him to chase the rabbit. There are no real rabbits in my book. There are monkeys rolling bowling balls in the belly of the great Graf Zeppelin, but that's a whole other story. The point is you have to have a verb and a noun in life. Chase is the verb, rabbit's the noun. It's just that simple. I used to play this silly game when I was really bored just to entertain myself, and I'm going to share it with you now. It's good for about 60 seconds of fun. Take a song title, any song title, and replace one of the words with the word lunch. I generally use Beatles songs, but it'll work with any song. A hard day's lunch. Okay, so you've got a hard day's lunch. All you need is lunch. The lunch on the hill? Sergeant Pepper's Lonely Lunch Club Band? Why don't we lunch it in the road? I want to hold your lunch, and finally, lunch me do. The chair on its side in the room cannot hide. May feel odd and uncomfortable, too. You just can't sit in a chair on its side. But it's there, wooden bear, and the chair doesn't care. You have to pick it up and put it back on its feet. For a chair is a younger man, too, and may be of some use soon, if we care for the chair. Let's get back to the Graf Zeppelin. Does anyone know what that was? Most of you have heard of the Hindenburg from the great Hindenburg disaster of the 1930s. Well, the Graf was a giant airship like that, and it plays a big part in my book. Makes me wonder how much people really know about history, especially when it comes to Hollywood. We all know who Marilyn Monroe was, but before Marilyn, there was Jean Harlow. She was actually the first blonde bombshell. How about Marion Davies, Clara Bow, Marie Promise? They were all huge stars in their time, and they're all in my book, but are now largely forgotten. So in a hundred years from now, are people going to remember Kim Kardashian? Anna Nicole Smith, or even Madonna? A hundred years from now, think about it. Hopefully they'll be also largely forgotten. Hopefully by then, those folks will be invisible. So here's your assignment for this week, folks. Look up my book, Chase the Rabbit, on Amazon. Stop playing video games and watching TV. Comment below on your version of a hard day's lunch. And until next time, folks, grab the rabbit by the throat and shake it. This is Steve Thomas saying goodbye.